Hey there, welcome back to Manatic Stringworks. Glad to have you here. So please remember to like and subscribe for more video content. Well, here's what we have on the workbench today. It's a nice Squire Stratocaster in a vintage style. It's left-handed, <laughs> as you can see. So it's backwards. <laughs> It has an HSS configuration, humbucker, single coil, single coil, standard five-way switch, control knobs, tremolo bridge. I like the vintage style tuners with the open post hole, the split post hole, and I like the big headstock as well. So this is a 2010 Squire Stratocaster. So the owner has left me a note here. Consistent popping crackling when plugged in, so there's probably something wrong with the output jack. Use the string action to be uh, adjusted, maybe too low. Some strings are, well, they're buzzing out when he's bending them. And we're going to put these Ernie Ball Hybrid 9 46s on there. All right, well, let's get started. All right, well, let's get this strap off. It's actually a nice strap. <laughs> I like the design. Ernie Ball. Put that aside. I think the first thing I'll check is this output issue, output jack issue. So I can see that it's loose. Plug it in. Oh yeah, it's really loose. It's not making any noise. Which, which makes me think that it's just loose. The contacts are fine. But I'll uh, unscrew the jack plate and we'll have a look. While I'm here, let me just check the electronics. So, okay, middle position, third position, second position, and first position. Yep. dirty so I might need to clean that I was hoping not to take the whole pick guard off but we might have to do that all right all right so everything the solder points are good it's obviously loose and you know what there isn't here I'll zoom in there's no lock washer at the back here, and that usually is the cause of it not staying in place. So I think if I grab a new lock washer and put it there and tighten it up, it should be good. All right, so I've actually got a half inch socket here. Back this off just a little bit. Oh, it's really stuck on there. Okay, someone's got it. A little cross-threaded. So we'll see if this works. Yeah. Yeah, that's like really cross-threaded. Hmm. How oh, long gonna be able to get that off without breaking it? Hmm. All right, let me come back to that. I'm actually going to take this off, desolder it, replace it.
That's a pretty messy solder joint too. So. <laughs> And you can see how it's cross through, I think, eh? Yeah, you should be able to. It's not even, and I can't really spin it around, so put a new one on. So I have the lock washer in there. I'm just going to tighten it up. I'm going to hold on to it. Give it a good tighten. That shouldn't go anywhere for a while. <laughs> also, disorient you know, the jack so the plug works nice. That slips in there nice, so that's good. Alright, let's put that back. That should be job number one done. Now this is a lefty guitar, so I'm going to spin it around later, but for now I just want to tune it up. Just check and see what the initial measurements are. So left handed or right handed, of course we check the guitar the same way, so I want to check the neck relief. So capo the first fret, hold down around the body joint, and let's go yeah. So on the treble side, it's really low, and on the bass side, crazy low too. Let's see if it's lower than ten thousandths, which I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I can get it under there, but it's scraping. But certainly not on the E side, the treble. So I probably raise that, uh, give it a little more neck relief. So that truss rod is kind of at a funny angle and buried in there a bit, and it's a 4 mil. So I've got a few different ones I tried, and this one I seem to be able to get the angle. So we want to loosen it a bit. Oh yeah, it's turning. I'm going to tighten it a bit. Okay, well, we've got movement, so I'll just loosen it a little bit because I know we want a little more relief here. We'll just have a quick look at the action at the first fret. So I'm going to try 20 thousandths. I like to see between 18 and 20 on a guitar. That's nice. Okay, well, I think that's good. When we do the other adjustments, uh, we'll come back and have a look at that. So string height, with a strat I like 4 64ths at the 17th fret. So here's my 4 64ths gauge. I can't get it under there. <laughs> you can hear that. That's scraping. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I think really maybe the first and second strings are too low. We can raise those. Of course, we can do that at the bridge. So the owner was a little concerned about fretting out these bending, and I think it's really just that the first and second strings are so low. I don't really think there's a fret issue, but let me check and see with the fret rocker up here, you know, from the tenth fret up, and see if we have any issues. Yeah, there's there's nothing here. It's nice. Like I mentioned, when it's a left-handed guitar, I just like to flip it around on the workbench. Just a lot easier to get to tuning machines. <laughs> All right. Clip off the end since we're not keeping these strings, of course. Okay, 
I'll even uh, go as far as clipping them right down low. <clears throat> I'm not pulling a whole string through. And they'll usually just fall out the back. While the strings are off, we'll get the frets a little bit of a cleaning and a polish with the fret erasers. So we'll start with the 150, go to the 180, 400, and then 1000 to finish. Maple fingerboard will clean it up. Just using some simple green, but you can use any cleaner, mild detergent, soap and water, whatever you like. Just spray it on, don't leave it on there, just spray it on and start wiping it off. Well, that's looking better. more roughness or grunge. <laughs> Easier to bend the strings that way. Quick and easy. That's why I like this bench vise for that. For Stratocasters especially. So while the strings are off, uh, not tightened up obviously, we know that the first and second strings are too low. So what I'm going to do is just raise them up. I'll raise them up a little bit. It's always easier to drop them down under string tension. All right, so I'll just raise them up and we can lower them as required. All right, so this guitar has this nice split post vintage style tuning machines, which I really like because they're super super easy to string up and they lock in really nicely. So. I actually prefer them to locking tuners. I don't think you need to go to the expense of a locking tuner, but anyways. So with the wound strings, I like to sort of go in there and go about two, two and a half, call it two tuning machines past. You just poke it down into the hole. Of course, it's a lefty guitar, so we're going the other way. <laughs> And just make sure your wraps go under each other. So with the plain string, so this is the second string, the B string, you're going to get more wraps around the post four or five. So, and here we are, one, two, three would be out here. So. One, two, somewhere around here. Yeah, that's about two inches. My cutters are getting dull, I think. <laughs> so I'll just put it in there. Just watch yourself with the plain strings. They definitely get really sharp, and I've cut myself 
stab myself, I should say. I don't know how many times. <laughs> it's not fun when you got blood pouring all over somebody's guitar. So once you're done stringing it up, you know, just have a look, make sure all your wraps are tight. You know, two or three wraps, four or five wraps, everything goes up from the bottom of the post. Nothing sticking out. I do love these vintage tuners. Simple to string up. They do hold tune very well. Well next step is just to tune the guitar up now. I like to tune it up first before I stretch. I don't know if it's better or worse, it's just the way I do it. <laughs> I just seem to like getting the strings to where they should be. And I also can confirm that I've actually stretched out like a semitone or a tone out of the string. Something slipped there, I'll have to check that. Alright, so we're up to tune for now, but you really have to stretch strings, especially guitar strings. They really need to be stretched, because they will not hold a tune for quite a while. So don't be afraid. Give them a good yank. Lots of different ways to do it. Just like giving them a good pull. Not so important on the plain strings, but on the wound strings especially. Alright, so we're the next day with the lefty Squire Stratocaster. We're all tuned up. I stretched the strings a bunch of times. So I think what we'll do is we'll check the neck relief. Now I did release the truss rod nut a little bit yesterday. So let's see what effect that has today. So I'll start with the 12,000th, so again we're the other way on the 7th fret, right? Now of course that was on the 1st string. I like that here, so I'm going to say that's good. Now we'll check the string height. We had a really low string height on the first and second strings, and the rest of them seem to be pretty good. So on a Strat, I like to go 4 64ths at the 17th fret, so right there. Let's have a look. A little bit of bounce, so I might want to lower that a touch. Yeah, so I had preemptively raised the first and second string. So they're a little high right now. Alright, so sort of a combination using my string gauge at 464 and the appropriate Allen wrench, in this case an Allen driver. So I'll just rest it on the fret to sort of drop that down until I feel it touch. Once it touches the string gauge, yeah, I still have room under there. So once I've done that with the string gauge, I like just to double check with the string gauge ruler here using the, four, six, the 64 scale. Some people can use thousandths of an inch or you can use the millimeters. I like the 64. So again, at the 17th fret, I want to check and see that we're right at 464s. That looks good. Alright, so tuned up the guitar. I'm going to check the intonation. So, open string. Make sure it's tuned. Do the harmonic. It's the other way around, it's a little harder. 
I was good at it. And then the fretted note. That's good. Good. Oh, is that a little sharp? Oh, the tuning's a little sharp. That's good. That's good. Nice. Uh -huh, that's pretty flat. And we're buzzing a little bit. That might be too low. Well, I think you can see a bit of the issue here. Look, I'm all the way forward. And I can't go any more forward because of the screw. <laughs> so, fortunately, that's as far forward as we can go with this six string. So let me tune it up and see how we did. Well, it's still flat. Not as flat as before, but we can't adjust it anymore, so we'll have to leave it like that. So I'm also going to check the frets down here. But we didn't have any rock hang issues before. All right. So what's interesting is I raised the string action up a little bit on the six string, so we're right around four and a half, five. And now the intonation is pretty much spot on. <laughs> so we're going to leave it like that. All right, so we've done the intonation, we've done the string height. Let me just check the action at the first fret, so 20 thousandths feeler gauge. It's nice. It's right around 20. It's just scraping. Alright, so the last thing we're going to look at is the pickup height. So, using my pickup height gauge, the base side is 1 8 and the treble side is 3 30 seconds or 6 64 So, it's a lefty guitar. So, I want to press down at the last fret. Yeah, I can't get under, can't get under, can't get under. I suspect it's the same thing here. Yeah, so these pickups are way too high. Interfering with the playability of the guitar, the way the string vibrates, harmonics, the whole thing. So let's lower these down quite a bit. I like to put my hand, my finger, on the pickup when I do that because sometimes it's hard to see. Maybe it's just my old eyes if it's going down or up, <laughs> but when you touch it, you know right away, obviously, all right, so. All right, so just the last thing I'll look at is, you know, make sure there's no buzzing or anything. The owner had complained about buzzing, especially on the first and second strings. bending. Yeah, I think that was just the how low these first and second strings were. They were you know under 364 so anyways we've got them all up to four now. Alright so we're all done with this guitar. It's been set up nicely. Output jack has been replaced and fixed. Got the string height done, neck relief, I really like the way this guitar looks. I am a big fan of black strats with maple necks. And especially this sort of really vintage look. And I like the big headstock too. Nice guitar. Too bad it's a lefty. I <laughs> can't really play it. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.